Ah! What's up, Chicken Fab? And we back with another video, guys. Today, <laughs> it's Sunday, bro. We got new stop five. That's it, bro, guys. Tense Kerry goes videos. Or are you a big baby? Goo goo gaga. This next creepy footage was captured live on national TV right. in Argentina. Argentina. So in Argentina, there's a program called Phenomenos, which is broadcast live and covers notable weather events in Argentina and around the world. The show's co-host, Matias Bertolotti, is doing a normal weather forecast for the upcoming weekend. When this happens. What happens? Por eso es el día quizás de estos próximos días, porque se viene la humedad y ahora sí, la esperada oh. lluvia en la zona central, que están esperándola muchísimo, asociado con las perturbaciones de mal tiempo, va a realzar todo esto. The program switches to a live security camera overlooking the boardwalk of the city of Corrientes, but something pale and translucent can be seen walking across the field and out of frame. A strange figure looks almost like the torso of a person, with arms moving quickly, almost as if whoever or whatever this is, is running. A shocked viewer is watching the show and shares the footage to his oh, Instagram, like but quickly gets a massive amount of attention. By the end of the program, well, Matias looks at the footage live on air and says that both he and the TV crew have no idea what this is. But they do note that whatever it is, it doesn't seem to have any legs. ¿Qué es esto? ¿Qué es eso que pasa cuando estábamos en vivo? Esto sucedió en vivo. A ver, esto no, no es. No, o sea, no estamos jodiendo, se los digo en serio, ¿eh? No estamos jodiendo, esto pasó en vivo cuando estábamos hablando del tiempo y la cámara es de paso de la patria. Ahí viene corriendo. Ay, ¿qué es eso? No tiene patas. ¿Qué es eso? The Continental and Jenna Snow works. Jumping from a story to story here, buddy. Yo, look, bro. bro, give me a second to process this little little creature, man. This, this is a little leprechaun. All right, it looked a little friendly. He didn't want to be part of the camera. He's like, you can't record me, bro. I'm out. Peace. Goodbye. Why are you panning? It was panning to the camera too. Yeah, no? the camera started okay. panning. Probably the guy saw it. He's like, okay, let's pan the camera. Where would he go? Where near, bro? Where would he go? I don't know, but it, it did look like a like a leprechaun. It does not look like a leprechaun, bro. It looked like Raymond, bro. What Raymond, bro? That was a little leprechaun, bro. It does not look like a leprechaun. A leprechaun, yeah, you would have seen green, bro. It blended in. Green screen. What? Eso. No tiene patas. The Continental Inn. Jenna Snow works at the Continental Inn in Edmonton, Alberta, Canada. A We're hotel which sits Edmonton, right guys. across the road from a cemetery that is the final resting place of nearly 19,000 bodies. With a location ah, like that, bro, it's no wonder that the hotel body. has built okay, up quite a bit. Okay, shut the fuck up, man. I'm trying to watch, bro. Excuse me, kids. Keep it inside. Kids, you know, the inside. Hotel. We got to go, man. Eh? 19,000, bro. Edmonton, it's not that far, bro. Yeah, it's far. It is far. Bit of a reputation for being haunted. Now, Jenna is working the front desk at 5 in the morning when she and one of her co-workers, Tim, spot something very odd on the lobby security camera. They said it's not the hotel that's haunted. It's the graveyard. Oh. So this service road here where Danny and I used to park, that's the old Stony Plain Road. Oh. If you really think they, when they dug up all the bodies here, that was a good one. Moved them over. To that was a good one, it said, he said. Which means there's so many moments that, you know, that's not captured. But if, if, the, if, the, if the graveyard is, is haunted, that means the hotel is haunted, bro. For sure, bro, because it could cross. You know, yo, let me go sleep there, bro. Yeah, I'm tired of uh, grass. Bro, look at that, bro. That, that was a that good apparition, bro. Yo, you felt it. You felt the inner. You up the bodies and what? Yeah. Hey, no. What's up? Oh, yeah, I see it again. Again? Yeah, let's try and sit in the chair. Bro, bro very Sometimes smoky. We'll for me. Very like smoky mist. of a ghost, yeah, yeah, bro. Like what a mist there? Smoky, bro. The same thing. Bro. Mist is very. Uh, Watery. Yeah. Why are you holding like this, bro? Because I got scared, bro. Nice. You have a hole, eh? No, it's a lovely shirt, bro. 
No, no, you have a hole. Shirt. Where? On the thing. Is it? Yeah, press play now. No, I have a hole, bro. Press play, bro! He is. How do you know this? Well, because Danny and I caught him earlier when Danny was in the games room locking up. I freaked the f out because I saw it. And then I tried to do a video review to record it, and it wouldn't let me. A faint, pale figure can be seen moving around the hotel lobby and sitting down in one of the chairs before just disappearing completely. Jenna's co-worker Tim claims that he's seen the bizarre figure many times before, and he believes that it has wandered over from the cemetery across the road. But lost spirit or not, I leave that up to you to decide. Mirror, mirror. On the wall. Oh, Lena's under a celebrating mother. Okay, talk about it, bro. What do you think, bro? It was good. Good it footage. It was sick bro. footage, bro. Good footage. You can. Bro. I don't think it's the same ghost, but I think it's multiple different ghosts when just coming No, I in. think it's the same ghost. Okay, now he thinks it's the same ghost. Why? It's the same ghost, bro. Lost and confused. Exactly, probably. bro. You know, he's trying to find a way to. But go it was home. a good capture, bro. They caught it, bro. Good capture, bro. You saw it, bro. I left after. That's it, guys. Now it's a uh, mirror, mirror, guys. Thursday in her home in Nova Trento, Brazil. She records herself as she enjoys lot. a Brazilian dessert treat. What happened? You skipped a lot, bro. No, I didn't, bro. Mirror, mirror. Malina Zunder is celebrating Mother's Day in her home in Nova Trento, Brazil. She records herself as she enjoys a Brazilian dessert treat and shows the no. thoughtful present no. that she received from her son. But then, something happens that shocks her to her core. Oh, oh, buckle up! Gente, vou comer com vocês o melhor brigadeiro da vida, que é da doceria da Lulu. Good. Olha que bonitinho que eu ganhei no dia dos mães do Conrado. Bravo, me deu. bravo. É um espelhinho. Bravo. Tô abrindo o chão. Olha, que lindo. Beautiful. Bravo. Deixa eu abrir. Ai, meu Deus. Amei. E agora vamos provar. Eu sou tipo assim, não, 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 no, that was a capture. You should have kept this for number one, bro. You're oh, you imagine good, number bro. one now, bro. Bro, that's a look at me. Imagine number one. No, no. This was good. This is number one, bro. So far, bro. Cause you didn't know what to expect. You know, when if you see a CT camera, you're kind of looking everywhere, right? Yeah, but you I know, was looking like, at Yo, the something, back. Something's gonna happen in the back. You said the same thing. Back. I thought me the too. glasses or something. The cops. God, press play, bro. Oh my God. Bro. After reviewing her video two days later, Molina is shocked. She posts the video to her TikTok in search of answers. The video goes viral, quickly gaining over 3 million views. Many stunned viewers wonder whether there's anything in front of her that could have been reflected in the mirror, okay. like a TV. But Melina shows that in front of where she was sitting at the time, there's actually a backyard, not even a wall. She also says that her husband and son were inside at the time. So just who? Or what is this? Yo. And did that mirror come with an uninvited guest attached? Oh Crossing shit! Over. I never thought of that because don't forget, bro. mirrors are a pathway to uh, to ghosts. Bro, Nook should dead, become a dude. director, bro. Like what? that's a dope ass movie idea, bro. The haunted mirror. No, I don't think that would be a good idea. The passing. That would be a sick name. The passing. The passing. Okay, okay, a bit, a bit, you know, a bit. One receives a gift. But why the passing? Because you're passing through. Oh, no, no, the portal. No, that's cheap. That's like very futuristic. Oh, okay, yeah, The right. gateway. No, that's stupid. Guys, let us know a movie idea. Or, no, title. A title, a title. It has to do with a mirror. Yeah. But it's given as a gift. Not the, the possessed, big ones. The possessed mirror. The, ref the possessed reflection. No, nah, we're way off, bro. No one's gonna come watch. With an uninvited guest attached. Crossing over. Take that user Mutalu. Crossing over, eh? Yo! Yo! That's not bad. Yeah, not bad. That's not, not bad. bad. Okay, that's not bad. 
You know? That'd be sick, no? No, that's sick, though. 4256 is driving down a quiet road somewhere in Thailand at around 8 o'clock in the evening. Suddenly, well, just watch. Okay. A woman wearing a white dress appears out of nowhere, forcing the panic driver to swerve around her. When brightening and slowing down bro. the footage, things Be get even bro. weirder. The eerie crashed. apparition seems to only partially appear, and then it just disappears altogether. He could have crashed. So hmm? He could have crashed. Yeah, he could have been out. this. Yeah. Bro, he could have crashed. He did swell, though. Yeah. Yeah, for sure. But that's dangerous, bro. I know. Like, bro. You think that's to... the purpose of those ghosts? Or they're doing it non unintentionally? That's a good question, yeah, bro. Yeah, but we don't know. We, we don't can't know. know the answer to we that. We can't know the answer, guys. I mean, you can see the positioning of the ghost and the way it's interacting, to like walking towards. Some of them are scary without a, you know, without arms or her legs or her head or whatever. I mean, that one was like intentional, right? I don't know, bro. We don't know. We can't say, bro. Could this driver have captured evidence of the paranormal on his dash cam? You decide. Apartment tour gone wrong. Whoa! A realtor from Ladson, South Carolina is giving a tour of a brand new luxury apartment to an interested couple. Then it goes terribly wrong. Did she say no, no. <laughs> when you show in the apartment, it just happens. So this is Yes. Yeah. That would help me actually. It's a nice apartment. Yeah. Is that closet? That's washer dryer hookups. Yeah, cool. Oh, sorry, I kicked you. During the apartment heads alone into the back bedroom and checks out the closet. But surprise because Bro, why is it chilling like that, bro? Oh he it's someone lying down? It's someone lying down. Why is it chilling like that? But look at the way he's chilling, bro. He's, he's like, you know, like why is oh, it chilling like that, bro? bro? It's someone chilling. That person should have came out clean, bro, because obviously people are gonna look at the closet, bro. As if they're not gonna bro, that's be, scary, that's bro. Messed up. Yo, that is messed up, bro. I didn't see that guy. No. No. Well, did, you got scared because of the scare? Well, because she's like, and she got scared. So bro. you automatically get scared. I got scared, bro. Instant reflex, guys. Yeah, it's oh, like I'm that not, situation bro. where I saw the spider and exactly. I ran. And I'm like, ah, and then you start running because you don't know what the fuck you're running from. Exactly, bro. Instinct. Just some weird dude hiding in there. Understandably, she kind of freaks out and runs out of the room and warns the others. The realtor is shocked, and after checking out the bedroom herself, she just says, um, okay, we're gonna go. You know, Mike, there's a person in there. There's a person in there? <laughs> Yo! Hello? Now, it bears repeating that these are brand new luxury apartments in a guarded community. So it seems odd that a squatter could even get in there. But what would you do if you were touring an apartment and a guy just popped out of the closet? Yo, I throw hats, bro. We need. I love that because I feel like that's the movie segment from. Uh, uh, what was that movie? Exactly, with Brad Pitt. Oh, that Brad Pitt dies. Yeah, yeah, it was um, reading, reading this. Book. Reading this. 
Burning after the reading. Burning after reading. Like, yeah, like that, burning bro. after reading. Something like that. And it reminds me of that. Like, what the? Fuck? <laughs> what is he doing in there, bro? bro? It's scary good. videos. Was a good one. So if you see something scary that you think would be perfect for the this top guy, five, bro. send it to me at nukestop5 at gmail.com while you are sleeping. It's three in the morning in Erie, Pennsylvania, and Jorge Cruz and his family are all fast asleep in bed. Suddenly, their bedroom door slams shut. Okay. Now Jorge is woken up by the sound, but doesn't think much of it and goes back to sleep. But the next day, he begins to wonder what could have caused the door to slam. He checks their baby monitor footage, and what he finds makes his blood run cold. Oh. John! I know! John! I know! Oh, Charlie, Yo, don't! Yo, oh, oh, bro, bro! Bro, they're very powerful legs, bro. Oh, shh! John! Oh, guys, sell the house! One last sell the house, bro! No, 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 no! Oh my god! Yo, bro, what the earth, man? Bro, it's on top of the baby, bro. Bro, sell it. Sell it. Yalla. <coughs> There's a lot of banging happening here. Loud banging can be heard before the bedroom door slams shut. Then a dark shadow-like figure can be seen creeping up the bottom of the baby's crib, seemingly watching the child sleep. The dark mass seems to reach over toward the child, even moving around a stuffed animal. Then it simply disappears into thin air. Yeah, because the baby's stronger than you, eh? What are you going to do? What? Bro, stop saying dumb shit, bro. Holy shit, bro. The, the video was going so good until you said that, bro. They can't do nothing. No, bro, no. They need to sell the house, bro. That's a dark entity, bro. Yeah, bro, the presence is very dark. I feel it, bro. I feel it, man. Bro, I those feel it. footsteps? Off the footsteps, you're like, yo, this is dark. When my big toes, like, swings like that, bro, I feel it, bro. This is a very bad entity, man. Very strong. Especially the footsteps, like he said. Bro, I, I better hear right after this, bro. Oh, they, they moved. sold. They Luckily, moved. they moved. You know, that kind of like, yeah. Uh, yeah. That's a good answer. Yeah, let's see. Jorge says that he feels the entity might be a dark presence huh. in his home. I told you. So did the family capture a paranormal entity on camera? Let me know what you think. Shit. Sick em, Blue. A woman and her dog are seriously freaked out when they notice a chair mysteriously rocking back and forth on her back patio. Look, you guys, it rocks, but then it stops on its own when I come outside. Let's see if I could get it on camera. There's like no wind. Bro, the dog goes, bro. <gasps> I know, Blue, someone's there, huh? I know, it, I know. I don't know why it does that. It does it every time, you guys. This is the third time. I can't believe I caught it on it's camera. It's the chair. It's the chair. Sick on Blue. Sell the chair. No, no, no. It's no, not no, outside no, the present. It's in the chair. Bro. Yeah, but it's in the chair. No, it's sitting, bro. It's in the chair. It's on the chair. It's whatever. The chair is a problem, bro. The dog knows, bro. Exactly. Get the chair out of the way. Break it. We already seen some uh, short films on the channel. Uh, you chair, guys. The chair. The dog knows. It's the chair. Let's go. Creepy, right? Katie, I guess they do have a ghost, bitch. Get him, Blue. I'm shutting the door. Little Shih Tzu puppy, Blue, anxiously barks and growls at the chair as you it go, continues blue. to rock back and you forth go, blue. all on its own. Now, unfortunately, the original source of this video was lost through the internet, almost like it was erased entirely. But many curious viewers of the video believe Blue can see or sense something that we can't. Yeah. The viewers wonder whether the chair belonged to someone who might have passed away. But without a source, whatever happened next we can't know. remains a mystery. Peeker. TikTok user Celeste Castro from the city of Culiacan, Mexico is home alone at 1 a.m when she hears strange sounds coming from her living room. Uh-oh. No. No, mami, no sé qué hacer ya, no sé qué hacer.
close the door. No mames, güey, no mames, está abierta la puta puerta. Ay, no. Yo, days like this, man, you wish you had your strap on ready, bro. Bro, you better have the strap on ready. You, I mean, yo, bro, safety comes first in this safety situation. Safety comes first, guys. Protection comes first, bro. Bro, I would bounce. That's right. Yeah, I would bounce right now. Yeah, I think that'd be a smart move. Yeah, like, bro, you like, easy. Stay in the, stay in the, like, area just to kind of, like, look easy over. Easy there, bro. Call the 5-0, bro. Yeah, bro. It, bro. What's 5-0 in Mexico? Um, Cinco Zero. Cinco Zero is uh, the pizza joint, bro. No, bro. Yeah, Cinco, Cinco Zero is pizza no. joint. Yeah, no. yeah. Oh. Cinco Zero Zero is a pizza joint. No, Cinco Zero, bro. Yeah, Five Cinco, bro. Yeah. Oh. I think that would be my, my thing, too. Go straight. Bounce. Yeah. That's it, bro. And the car has no tires, so you can't take the car. So you walk. That's it, my boy. <laughs> This is WPS. Voy a cerrar la puerta y le voy a poner seguro porque la neta se supone no hay nadie, no hay nadie, literal, no hay nadie en plebes. O sea, no sé, no sé, no sé qué voy a hacer. Aquí, aquí voy a dejar el, el celular este grabando aquí. A ver si, si capta algo, porque la neta ya, ya me harté de que, de que estén pasando cosas y no sepa qué es. La voy a dejar grabando. 4K60. Y me voy a ir al cuarto. Me da mucho miedo, please, me da mucho miedo ver lo que hay. No mames. Yo quiero saber lo que realmente pasó. No mames, no mames, no mames. No mames, no mames. No mames, güey, no mames. ¿Qué vergas es eso? ¿Qué vergas es eso? Me está dando miedo. Te lo juro que estoy temblando. Shit, man! Yo! No, I got me this shirt. That's not, stop pulling it, man. Let me do this to yours. It's a gift, man, for my birthday, bro. Yo, I swear, bro, Mexico ghosts, bro. You guys have issues, bro. This Mexican is why. Mexican ghosts, bro. Mexico, bro. Yo, bro, guys, bro. I'll make, I'll make sure that I Mexican can't find these ghosts, bro. Holy, bro, run it back, bro. Jesus Christ, yeah, but bro. don't pull my shirt, bro. bro. you ripped my shirt, bro. bro. you ripped mine, man. Look, bro. Look. You have deodorant in the back, too, man, of no, your it's, shirt. No, it's not. It's a... Uh, Cream. Because the tan is going out. Oh, shit, is it? Yeah, yeah too, bro. 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 Bro, you don't fuck with me, man. I know how to, I know how to control... Ah! Hey! North Face! What is you? A fish? No, it's a penguin. That's it's a, a penguin? Fish. It's a fish. It's a... Shit, bro. Okay, let's go, bro. You're running back, bro. You don't bro. even know what North Face is, though. Yeah, it's Face. Les gets the scare of a lifetime when she sees something peek out from behind her kitchen refrigerator. That's about enough, and she just gets out of there. She spent the rest of the night at her cousin's house. To this day, Celeste claims that she has no idea what she captured on her phone that night. She says that nothing weird or out of the ordinary has happened at her house since then. Good. But is it real or is it all just an elaborate hoax? You decide. Bro, why is it so scared of the ghost today? A house with horrible history. Oof. Reddit user Octopus Funeral has been experiencing terrifying paranormal activity in his home in Philadelphia, Pennsylvania. So the backstory on his house is that nearly a hundred years ago in 1925, a man suffered an extreme nervous breakdown and brutally ended the lives of his two young daughters before ending his own life. Now, almost a century later, Reddit- It's long legs, right? Eh? It's the legs. story of long legs, Why? bro. 
a oh, family kills the him. Family, kill, yeah, the kills father, himself, the father there, yeah, and then kills himself. What? Yeah, yeah, it's yeah. true. Yeah, let's watch that movie. I like no, it. Yeah, it's, it was a good movie. Man, it was good. It was a good movie. The user Octopus Funeral says he used to be a skeptic, but that all changed when he moved into this house. He says that strange, unexplained events begin to haunt his family. He says the paranormal encounters became more extreme and aggressive with every passing day in the house. One day, he's in the basement doing laundry, and he feels that something is just kind of off. He takes out his phone and starts to record. What happens next is downright creepy. Oh my God. Like I was saying earlier, um, most of the stuff does happen down here. Um, and I mean, you can't really that's freaky stuff right there, man. <clears throat> yep, that's what you call. User Octopus Funeral says that the paranormal activity in the house freaked him out so much that he and his family eventually just moved out back in 2017. He says that since then See, he guys? didn't even want to think about that house. But only recently he decided to transfer this video from his old phone to share with the paranormal community on Reddit. So is this old house in Philadelphia haunted by the tragic spirits who lost their lives there? Philly. You decide. Tick tock. Oh. Tick tock user Havelista says he made the terrible run, mistake baby. of fooling around with a Ouija board at his home in Germany. And of course, it did not go well. Exactly, guys. Leute, ich schwöre euch bei Gott. Diese Tür von dieser Uhr, ne? Die ist eben einfach aufgegangen. Ich wollte mich gerade schlafen legen. Auf einmal ist die aufgegangen. Die ganzen Tage ist sie nicht aufgegangen und jetzt gerade hat sie sich einfach geöffnet, Digga. Bro, ich kack mir in die Hose was. Wenn ihr irgendwas in diesem Raum ist, dann macht diese Tür auf. Oh, Bro, don't ask dumb questions, Bro. Wenn hier irgendein Geist oder so drin ist und du mich hören kannst, you ask, you dann mach receive. diese Tür auf. You ask for it. You got it. Bro, ich schwöre bei Gott, ich schwöre auf meine Mutter, hier ist kein Schnur oder so nicht, dass ihr denkt, ich verarsche euch, Bruder. You gotta cut that part of the video, bro. Jesus Christ, bro. Get a, oh. get a Saji, bro. Get a Saji and bless the house, bro. 
Do something, bro. Call a priest. Bro, bro. First you know of what all, else you can call, bro? You play the, you play the Ouija. You can call Russell Crowe, bro. You asked for... You asked show for yourself. It. What? You said it, bro. If there's someone here, bro, please show yourself. You said, bro. Too, too bad now. Yeah, if you want. You, you gotta well, be ready. Go play the Ouija, bro. You ask, you shall receive. That's it, bro. Isn't that in the Bible? I don't know, bro. But Sarah, Sarah's right. Cyrus, absolutely right. Exactly. Ron Chen Part Two, brother. Was With top notch. notch but yeah. Absolutely right. She's right, bro. Be careful when you use that Ouija board, guys. Anybody in the chat here, guys? Please be, be safe when you play the Ouija board. Caution when using the board, okay? Or you just don't no play. No play, but don't take, play. yeah, no play. No Let's play. Let's go. His heart is racing like ours. My head's so awesome. Bro, the guy thinks it's a the car. Okay, yeah. Oh. Oh. The door of an antique clock hanging on the wall opens up by itself. <laughs> after which the pendulum <laughs> just drops right out of the clock's frame. TikTok user Hevelista says that's about enough and the very next day he burns both the clock and the ouija board fuck a clock fuck a dark fuck a pop what was that i mean yeah, yeah 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 but usually when you burn a ouija board it comes back yeah i know the next day yeah not as a board back? but something else i guess so bro. but this begs the question what would you do would you just burn it all let me know Really quick, I just wanted to mention that there was also a video posted last week, and yeah. no, I'm posting now a lot sooner than usual, so make sure you didn't miss last week's video. Right. Got you, bro. We did it, bro. We just came back from Greece, guys. Yo, Nuke, bro. Nuke the goat, guys. Yo. But I gotta I gotta say, bro. I gotta say, bro. I gotta say, bro. What do you gotta say, bro? Uh, first of all, the mirror video was number one. It was number one for me, bro. Bro, number one, bro. It was guys, I can't, unexpected. Bro. That was a good Again, one. Again, very nice list, man, of the two of them that we've seen here, guys. But, but even number two, bro. Number two you is... You saw the bottles were falling from the house? Yeah, yeah. Bro, he's still there filming. Oh, I apologize bro. for this little trash-ass fucking effect, guys. You know. Yeah, you know when the bottles were falling? Yeah. Bro, how do you stay there and still filming? Evidence, my evidence? Evidence? No, bro. You have to find the evidence. You got it. Two bottles fell. It's not enough. It's not Out. enough. It's not enough, bro. It's not enough. Hey, bro, you could be like, that's ca if, I, if you bring me that, I'll be like, that's Casper the Friendly Ghost, bro. Then you have four bottles and be like, okay, yo, you got a fucking bottle, my friend. What you told me? Yeah. Yeah, kids inside. Inside, bro. Only swear when uh, your parents let you. Guys, if you're new to this channel, make sure you subscribe, like, comment, the whole package. Yeah. <laughs> Tomorrow we're live. Ah. And we'll see you on the next guys, video. Guys. Guys. Halloween is coming, eh? <laughs> October! October fest! <laughs> no? <laughs> guys! <laughs> uh, guys, make sure the whole package! The whole package! <laughs> love you guys. See you. Peace.